Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the last two videos, we understood the acidity of phenols, the effect of substituents on acidity and the qualitative test for phenols. In this lesson, we study the structure and uses of phenol, cresols, resorcinol and naphthols. From this lecture, you can learn the structure and uses of phenol, cresols, resorcinol and naphthols. Let's begin with the phenol. Phenol was discovered in 1834 by Friedlieb who extracted phenol from coal tar. It is an aromatic organic compound with the molecular formula C6H5OH. The molecule consists of a phenyl group bonded to a hydroxyl group. It is a monohydroxy benzene also known as benzenol or carbolic acid. Moreover, electron pairs of oxygen atom are conjugated with the aromatic system and causes partial transfer of negative charge from oxygen to the ring and delocalization of the charge. This effect additionally strengthens polarization of oxygen-hydrogen bond. In consequence, phenol gains acidic character and ability to form phenoxide or phenolate ion. Both phenol and its conjugate base are resonance stabilized. Phenol exhibits keto-enol tautomerism with its unstable keto tautomer cyclohexadienone, but only a tiny fraction of phenol exists as the keto form. The equilibrium constant for enolization is approximately 10 to the power minus 13 which means only 1 in every 10 trillion molecules is in the keto form at any moment. The small amount of stabilization gained by exchanging a carbon-carbon double bond for a carbon-oxygen bond is more than offset by the large destabilization resulting from the loss of aromaticity. Phenol therefore exists essentially entirely in the enol form. Phenoxides are enolates stabilized by aromaticity. Under normal circumstances, phenoxide is more reactive at the oxygen position, but the oxygen position is a hard nucleophile whereas the alpha carbon positions tend to be soft. Occurrence and uses of phenols Dilute 2% solutions of phenol have long been used as antiseptics. Concentrated phenol solutions can cause severe skin burns. Today, phenol has been largely replaced by more effective phenol derivatives such as 4-hexyl resorcinol. The compound 4-hexyl resorcinol is an ingredient in many mouthwashes and throat lozenges. The phenol derivatives orthophenylphenol and 2-benzyl-4-chlorophenol are the active ingredients in Lysol solution, a disinfectant for walls, floors and furniture in homes and hospitals. A number of phenols possess antioxidant activity. An antioxidant is a substance that protects from other substances from being oxidized by being oxidized itself in preference to the other substances. Many foods sensitive to air are protected from oxidation through the use of phenolic antioxidants. Two commercially phenolic antioxidant food preservatives are BHA that is a butylated hydroxyanisole and BHT that is a butylated hydroxytoline. A naturally occurring phenolic antioxidant that is important in the functioning of the human body is vitamin E. A number of phenols found in plants are used as flavoring agents and are antibacterials. Included among these phenols are thymol, eugenol, isoeugenol and vanillin. Thymol obtained from the herb thyme possesses both flavorant and antibacterial properties. It is used as an ingredient in several mouthwash formulations. Eugenol is responsible for the flavor of cloves. Dentists traditionally used clove oil as an antiseptic because of eugenol's presence. They use it to a limited extent even today. Isoeugenol, which differs in structure from eugenol only in the location of the double bond in the hydrocarbon side chain that is responsible for the odor associated with nutmeg. Vanillin, which gives vanilla flavor, is extracted from the dried seed pods of the vanilla orchid. Natural supplies of vanillin are inadequate to meet demand for this flavoring agent. 
Synthetic vanillin is produced by oxidation of eugenol. Certain phenols exert profound physiological effects. For example, the irritating constituents of poison ivy and poison oak are derivatives of catechol. These skin irritants have 15 carbon alkyl side chains with varying degrees of unsaturation that is 0 to 3 double bonds. Chrysols Chrysols are homologs of phenol. They are organic compounds which are either hydroxy derivatives of toline or methyl derivatives of phenols. Chrysol is a methyl phenol with meta, ortho and para isomers. See the structures. They are widely occurring natural and manufactured group of aromatic organic compounds which are categorized as phenols, sometimes called phenolics. Depending on the temperature, chrysols can be solid or liquid because they have melting points not far from room temperature. Like other types of phenols, they are slowly oxidized by long exposure to air and the impurities often give samples of chrysols a yellowish to brownish red tint. Chrysols have an odor characteristic to that of other simple phenols reminiscent to some of a coal tar smell. The name chrysol reflects their structure being phenols and their traditional source creosote. Structure and Production In its chemical structure, a molecule of chrysol has a methyl group substituted onto the ring of phenol. There are three forms, isomers of chrysol, orthochrysol, metachrysol and parachrysol. These forms occur separately or as a mixture which can also be called chrysol or more specifically trichrysol. About half of the world's supply of chrysols are extracted from coal tar. The rest is produced by hydrolysis of chlorotolines or the related sulfonates. Another method entails methylation of phenol with methanol over a solid acid catalyst often comprising magnesium oxide or alumina. Temperatures above 300 degrees are typical. Enisol converts to chrysols under these conditions. Uses of chrysols Chrysols are precursors or synthetic intermediates to other compounds and materials including plastics, pesticides, pharmaceuticals and dyes. For chrysol bactericides or disinfectants, the mechanism of action is due to the destruction of bacterial cell membranes. Most recently, chrysols have been used to create a breakthrough in manufacturing carbon nanotubes at a scale that are separated and not twisted without additional chemicals that change the surface properties of the nanotubes. Some commercial examples. Creolin, a 19th century disinfectant. The derivatives of parachrysol includes butylated hydroxytoline that acts as antioxidant. Derivatives of orthochrysol include Indo-1, a popular calcium indicator, 4-chloro-2-methylphenoxyacetic acid, 4-4-chloro-2-methylphenoxybutanoic acid, the amine etomoxetine and the diol mefenacin. Derivatives of metacrysol include amyl metacrysol which is an antiseptic, bromocrysol green an indicator, bupronolol a non-selective beta blocker, tolimidone etc. Resorcinol Resorcinol is so named because of its derivation from ammoniated resin gum and for this relation to the chemical arsenol. Resorcinol is also known as resorcin. It is an organic compound with the formula C6H4OH taken twice. It is one of the three isomeric benzene diodes that is the 1,3 isomer or meta isomer. It is prepared industrially by the alkaline fusion of benzene meta disulfonic acid. It is also formed when benzene para disulfonic acid or all three bromo benzene sulfonic acids are fused with alkali. It is a colorless crystalline solid having melting point 110 degrees, very soluble in water, ethanol and ether. Qualitatively, its aqueous solution gives a violet coloration with ferric chloride solution. It is not so powerful reducing agent as the ortho and para isomers but it will reduce silver nitrate and felling solution on warming. With nitrous acid, it forms dinitroso resorcinol. This is known as fast green O and is used as a dye. When nitrated, resorcinol forms typhenic acid that is 246 trinitro resorcinol. 
Stiphenates are used to identify certain compounds by molecular complex formation that is picrates. A number of reactions of resorcinol are best explained on the assumption that resorcinol behaves as a tautomeric substance. See the structures given. Uses of resorcinol. Resorcinol is mainly used in the production of resins. As a mixture with phenol, it condenses with formaldehyde to afford adhesives. Medically, it is used in over-the-counter topical acne treatments at 2% or less concentration. A derivative of resorcinol that is monoacetyl resorcinol is used in the treatment of lesions. Resorcinol is one of the active ingredients in products such as resinol, vagicil and clearacil. Chemically, it is used as a chemical intermediate for the synthesis of pharmaceuticals and other organic compounds. It is used in the production of diazo dyes and plasticizers and as a UV absorber in resins. It is an analytical reagent for the qualitative determination of ketoses that is a Selivanov's test. It reacts with formaldehyde to form a thermoset resin which can form the basis of an aerogel. Coming to naphthols. The hydroxy derivatives of naphthalene are known as naphthols. Naphthols are of two kinds, 1-naphthol and 2-naphthol. 1-naphthol. 1-naphthol is also known as alpha-naphthol. It is a fluorescent organic compound with the formula C10H7OH. It is a white solid. It is an isomer of 2-naphthol differing by the location of the hydroxyl group on the naphthalene ring. The naphthols are naphthalene homologs of phenol with the hydroxyl group being more reactive than in the phenols. Both isomers are soluble in simple alcohols, ethers and chloroform. Preparation of 1-naphthol 1 1-naphthol one is prepared by two main routes. In one method, naphthalene is nitrated to give 1-nitronaphthalene which is hydrogenated to the amine followed by hydrolysis. See the reactions. Alternatively, naphthalene is hydrogenated to tetraline which is oxidized to 1-tetralone which undergoes dehydrogenation. Uses of 1-naphthal 1 naphthol is a precursor to a variety of insecticides including carbaryl and pharmaceuticals including nadalol as well as for the antidepressant sertraline and the antiprotozoan therapeutic drug that is etovaquone. It undergoes azo coupling to give various azo dyes but these are generally less useful than those derived from 2 naphthol. 1 naphthol is used in a variety of chemical tests. Molished test gives a red or purple colored compound to indicate the presence of carbohydrate. The rapid furfural test turns purple quickly less than 30 seconds if fructose is present, distinguishing it from glucose. The Sakaguchi test turns red to indicate the presence of arginine in proteins. The Vogue's Proscar test changes color from yellow to red to indicate that glucose is being broken down into acetoin, which is used by bacteria for external energy storage. 2 naphthol. 2-naphthol is also known as beta-naphthol. It is a fluorescent colorless or occasionally yellow crystalline solid with the formula C10H7OH. It is an isomer of 1-naphthol, differing by the location of the hydroxyl group on the naphthalene ring. The naphthols are naphthalene homologs of phenol but more reactive. Both isomers are soluble in simple alcohols, ethers and chloroform. Traditionally, 2-naphthol is prepared by a two-step process that begins with the sulfonation of naphthalene in sulfonic acid. The sulfonic acid group is then cleaved in molten sodium hydroxide. Neutralization of the product with acid gives 2-naphthol. 2-naphthol can also be produced by a method analogous to the cumin process. 2-naphthol reacts with cuprous chloride to form by 2 naphthol which is a C2 symmetric ligand popularized for use in asymmetric catalysis. Naphthols both 1 and 2 isomers are used as biomarkers for livestock and humans exposed to polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Uses of 2-naphthol 2-naphthol is used for making dyes, 
as an antioxidant in the manufacture of a synthetic rubber, as an antiseptic in the treatment of skin diseases, and for preparing its methyl and ethyl ethers, that is nerolins, which are extensively used in perfumery. This is the list of references followed for the lecture. That's all in this lesson, the structure and uses of phenol, chrysols, resorcinol and naphthols. With this, we end the topic of phenols. In the next video, we will discuss a new topic. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.